I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Oh, welcome to the Red Men TV for the final time this season is the uncensored match build-up show uh, because apparently Liverpool have got another game to play in the Premier League despite the fact that by all accounts, well technically our season ended a month ago, uh, but we all thought it ended last week uh, with Gerrard's farewell at Crystal Palace. No, as a big fuck you from the Premier League and the rules of the game, uh, Liverpool do have to face off against another opponent to complete their required quota of uh, 38 games in a season. Um, so... Here we are. Um, first question, uh, after I've introduced everyone, which is of course Chris Page, Jack Hart and Neil Poole, um, who's fucking arsed? I'm arsed. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, am, I am genuinely arsed. Okay. I wasn't arsed until I read The Echo yesterday and I saw all the ramifications of what happens if we don't finish fifth. Okay. And essentially, if we finish sixth and Villa don't win the league... Or if we yeah, finish, what, what, sorry, what? win the league, sorry, win the FA Cup. <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> Villa or, are still in with a chance. <laughs> We're still in with a chance. Exactly. Or if we finish seventh, and regardless if he wins the cup, we have to play all sorts of mad qualifiers, and we'll be starting on the second of July, is what I read, which is like in six weeks, and the league isn't even finished yet, and yeah. I can't wait for it to finish. So I essentially don't want to have to fucking start again to watch. What will hopefully be better any sooner than I need to. I need I need a break from it. So <laughs> yeah, I want us to finish CNS. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want us to finish fifth, so the players get a proper break. There was a World Cup last season, yeah. and there's a there's a split between this shit season and the next season, which is going to be amazing. Yeah, as, that's... as we touched upon off camera, then that's the anti football vote, isn't it? You know, yeah. You're interested in the game, so there's no more football for yeah. ages. Well, it's, it's interesting because I was talking to. Um, the first and Everton finally was saying how they, 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 they went in for loads of tasty tackles trying to put yellow cards up because he thought it was like the, the fair play league chance out the window and I said it wouldn't surprise me because you know hey, great being in Europe but nobody wants to be in the first qualifying round of, of, of Europe you know whether it's the Champions League or the Europa League because as you said just think about uh, 2005 2006 Chris has mentioned TNS first qualifying round and we've we, you know ultimately we, you know, we had the FA Cup that season but the players you can't exp it's hard enough a season's long enough without adding an extra m whole month plus on top that's it like it you know as Neil quite rightly says is they need a break they need to be able to forget about this season they need to go away and get, the, get their head in the right place before they come back a month's just not long enough at all like I mean was it Three weeks after the Champions League final or something like that, is that right? June, June the 6th, is that? Think, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's nearly three weeks or just that, just more than three weeks. Good job with the Champions League eh? final. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, you know, you these players, uh, you need, they need to have a break, like, and they need to forget about this season and get their heads straight. Yeah, I... I um... I, to be honest, I hadn't considered that in the slightest. This this whole fucking thing just felt like a, a fully not be arsed. And it's weird because this season is totally different to uh, pretty much any season I can remember as a Liverpool fan because of the way the squad's set up and, and all that. Is that we said this the other week? There's no one, there's no one in like the under 21s who I'm dead excited to see get a go. You know, it's been nice to see a little bit of Jerome Sinclair. And you know what? If you want to give him a start, go for it, give him a start. But there's no one like you know, like seeing Sterling a couple of years ago, or seeing Ibe two years ago, or seeing years before it might be getting a glimpse of Insuer, or maybe even Pacheco, or something like that. There's no one I'm like kind of like buzzing to see because we played them all anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've got well, a team the ones full... that you want to see are probably on home still. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we've got a team full of fucking kids as it is. So there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no great experimentation to be learned from. We there's can no... put the legends out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That'll probably get me yeah. get. Did the, I'd rather see like the the that the Gerard team from his uh, testimonial game or whatever it was played against Stoke than the actual Liverpool team at this point. But I um, but now that you've mentioned, I should say the yeah. the ramifications of it, and yeah. also and for for anyone who just doesn't want to be in the Europa League, the only way we don't get into the Europa League is if we finish seventh, Villa win the cup, not the league. And we're overtaken by whoever's below us in the uh, fair play league because we're top of that. So essentially, to not finish, we we could just like fucking get like just hack Stoke down and get five of our players <laughs> sent off, and then just 
give a financial incentive to Villa to win the cup <laughs> or something. That's the only way we're not going to get in Europe. So we're getting in Europe, aren't we? Yeah. So I'd rather just be in it in September or in whatever. The best it is. possible position yeah. we can be in it. Yeah. No, that's right. I, I think that's that's a great point because look, do you, let's not dress it up any any uh, which which way. I wish I had a greater respect for the Europa League, and when it gets to like the semi-final stage, that comes flooding back. I do. I, it's not the Europa League I dislike. It's it's just the 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 number of games and the quality of the opposition you've got to come up against that winds me up. And given that we're going to have to face that, whether we go straight into the pot for the main draw. <laughs> or, or we started the first qualifying round. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to play shit teams that you don't like or don't care about. Uh, either way, it, but it's more. There's more shit teams and there's more shit games and there's more fucking random kickoff times. So for 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 the fans, for our to maximise our happiness or minimise the misery, we we've absolutely got to finish with. So that's definitely something that's going to happen. Um, what team would you go with, Chris, for this game? Uh, yeah, I just forgot it. That one's I made a mistake. What was the mistake? Um, I, I ran out of spaces. Uh, right, Simon Mignolet in goal. I've gone three four three. Glenn Johnson, so I can tell him to fuck off for, for the last time. Martin Scale and Dejan Lovren. Uh-huh. Ibe, Chan, Lucas, and Moreno as a four. Mm-hmm. With Markovic, Lambert, and Alana, and the only three I'm precious of are Johnson because I want to tell him to fuck off, Chan because I want to see him in midfield, and Lambert because I don't think he's had enough of a chance this season, and I want the away fans to show him a little bit of fucking love. So no Sterling or Coutinho. No Sterling, no Coutinho, no Gerard. I've said me goodbye. So see you later. I think there's a good point to be made on that. Anyone got Gerard in their in their thoughts? I'm not starting, but I would imagine rather than see him going off every time, I would imagine see him getting. Coming on for the last twenty minutes and giving him a good chance, maybe to get that, you know, that last bit of that last goal or whatever. But the game in Anfield, that was his goodbye. Yeah, I think it is that that was his goodbye as well. I don't think there's any demand to start. I don't think there'll be any kickoffs if he doesn't. And you can you can still get on the pitch the last twenty minutes or so and do a job. Yeah, I just want to see him on the pitch with Charlie Adam once more. Just one football in here, transition into the other. I want to see Lucas just, just put plant one on Charlie Adam for all, once a game for all. Like, <laughs> well, carry the, you, you bastard. Well, with the pressure that Adam will still be in this league next season though, and Gerard won't. Mm. Uh, maybe Charlie Adam's got MLS written all over him though, hasn't he? Oh yeah. Um, but I um, we were discussing it on uh, RMTV Question Time, which is a subscriber show this week, which you can check out on the TV dot com. Uh, where we were answering your questions, we were talking about um, do do Emre Chan in midfield or defence, and for me. If Emery Chan is in contention to be a midfielder next season, then he absolutely has to start this game in midfield, as far as I'm concerned. Because yeah. that is when I talk about there's no experimentation to be done. That is that for me is it. That's the one big experiment. We can get we can get a it's not gonna be conclusive one way or the other. He's still a kid. He's still got loads <coughs> of maturing to do. But if he's if he's classed as a defensive midfielder, put him in there, away to Stoke and see how he handles it. I, the, the only fear is, is that as we've said because there is that actual much as we don't really feel it as fans or it, do, it doesn't look like it there is obviously a level of importance to this game it's whether Brendan will have the, the bottle to actually fucking mix it up a little bit because for me um, again like Mankio I know he's been bombed out and there's almost zero chance that he's going to be involved in this game he absolutely should be if we're playing back and yeah. forth at the back Glenn Johnson's gone He's been gone for two years, except you know at least literally about to be physically gone, which is amazing. But you know, get Mankio in, play him in there, keep Moreno, keep Moreno in. Don't care the centre arse I sadly pick themselves at the moment, don't they? Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know. I, I, the question it boils down to, I suppose, as well, is that does Ricky Lambert come back in as Chris has done, or do we persist with Stale up front? I've not got him in my eleven, but he did sort of impressed me a little bit 6 out of 10 sort of impressed when he came on against um, against Palace at the weekend I thought he looked alright and we that seemed to be the thing that gave us a bit of a lift for 3 or 4 minutes um, I, I've with the team I've picked I've gone down the same route as Chris has with sort of 3 who you, you definitely want in there or you want in there because you don't want in there which is your Johnson approach but I've gone with Mankio at right back Emery Chan ahead of Gerard with Henderson and Markovic on the right, I'd just like to see a few players in their best positions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've got no problem. I'd, I'd like to see Markovic 
get a look in. I just can't see that Sterling and Coutinho are not going to play. I mean, imagine if Sterling I've got, I've doesn't. I've got Henderson out as well. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, but if, if Sterling doesn't play, can you be asked with the fucking headlines about how it means he's fucking means he's fucking <coughs> gone and all this kind of shit? Like, you know what I mean? He needs to put in a fucking. They all need to put in a shift. I, 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 there's actually a tendency. I, I think they to play the same team that played against Palace and say, sort it out, fucking fix that. This is actually Gerard's last game. The only thing I want to see from this game is Gerard like, fucking throwing his shirt and his boots and all that into the away fans at the end. I think that'll be a nice, that'll be a nice touch and the final whistle and it ends. We can all just have a little. Alla John Aldridge. Alla yeah. John Aldridge, exactly that. Uh, Ricky Lambert will probably do it and then uh, you know Colo and uh, John Johnson. Oh, <laughs> diving. Johnson will have his boots thrown back at him. John Aldridge uh, will turn up. <laughs> Johnson will throw it in and people will go up with his boots and be like. You had two left ones on this whole time. <laughs> that was the problem, Glenn. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. Um, what team would you go for? Do let us know in the in the comments below. Any anything that particularly stands out. If we were to experiment, is there anyone you really, really, really want to see, or moreover, anyone you want to see in a particular position? Comments below. Um, before we get some score predictions, uh, I'm going to do a little plug for the End of Season Awards. Uh, it's the fifth annual Redman TV End of Season Awards. The videos are going to be on the YouTube channel and they'll be on the website as well. Um, with your chance to vote for Young Player, Player, Flop and Signing of the Season via the wonderful medium of YouTube where you'll be able to click to vote for your thing. If you've done it in, in years gone by, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. If not, uh, it's a technological marvel. Um, <laughs> uh, so you, can, you can definitely try it out and get your get get involved with all of that shit. Uh, anyway, score predictions, Neil. I actually think it's going to be a one all draw, but I just can't, I just refuse to just say we're not going to win, so we're going to go two one. Okay, yeah. Nil nil. Yeah. Okay. One nil to Liverpool. Yeah, I, I'm I'm of the opinion that if we're going to win it, it's going to be the shittest, dullest draw, uh, one nil win of all time, or. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a one but nothing would sum our season quite like a one all a one all draw. I don't think a way to stoke from the be. lead. Just yeah, 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 yeah why not? <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, why not? So there you go. Uh, anyway, if you're looking for some more positivity <laughs> and optimism and some big digital cuddles to get you through the shitness of this season and get you <laughs> pumped up for a summer filled with world class signings, possibly uh, go and watch Arsenal fan TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out the RedmenTV.com. We're going to be doing the season review. We're going to be doing the squad review. We're going to be looking ahead to the summer as well over the next couple of weeks. Uh, perfect time to start up. But you got to completely free month at the start of your subscription uh, and then it's just £2 a month after that which I'm sure you'll agree is basically free uh, <laughs> so yeah so do check it out we're going to be loads of extra stuff we're going to be basically looking at Liverpool's transfers in, in, in far greater depth and detail throughout the summer more discussions I know you're probably oversaturated with Liverpool content right now but you won't be in a couple of weeks Trust me, it's just the way it works. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. If not, we'll be seeing it. We're, we might be doing something different for the Stoke game. I'll, I'll hopefully reveal more on Twitter as the time approaches because I haven't booked any guests for it yet. Uh, so we'll have to see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, any thoughts, comments or whatever in the comments below. Ta. Crap. It was, wasn't it? It was awful, mate. Uh, you know, it felt like a testimonial. It really did. And um, I just wish we could have gone out with a win for Gerard at Anfield I mean he's still the best there is the best there was and the best there ever will be and the fact that Liverpool put that on the scoreboard for him as well under the title LFC News <laughs> like it was breaking news it's, we've known this for years lads you know what I mean this is this Stephen is brilliant Gerard.